Can you please tell me your perception of four hospitals, starting with Harborview? Um, what I know about Harborview um, is, honestly, if you happen to get a gunshot, that's probably where you're going to go, and the best place to go. So yeah, obviously, um, great emergency care is my perception of that. Um, it's a trauma hospital. They take all the helicopters down in there when everybody's badly injured. I had some friends go there a long time ago who were in a bad car accident. Um, I also know they treat a lot of people that are um, low on income, low income people. Harborview is, was a very, very busy hospital since I worked there and um, they have a lot of expertise um, in ER, neurosurgeon. It really, uh, seems more like a you know, immediate need trauma center um, if you get hurt in a severe accident or, or severe whatever illness, then uh, you go to Harborview uh, as a quick result. When I think of Harby, Harborview, I always associate it with um, high trauma. I know a lot of um, kind of like the helicopters and like crash scenes, like people are usually airlifted to Harborview, so that's more what I associate it with. University of Washington, I feel, is more of a career-based hospital. A lot of um, RNs teaching, like, teaching students. Um, a lot more associated towards like the university aspect of it. I assume it's probably um, a lot of research done there, um, just because it's uh, on college campus and related to that. It's um, more of an educational facility. I know they do a lot of research medicine down there. Um, you know, very academic focused and research based as well. Um, I know it's probably one of the top hospitals uh, in the region, if not the nation, for both of those. So those are probably the two kind of primary things that come to mind. Actually, I know their reputation being a top-ranked hospital, and um, since I was a UW student, I often go, uh, went there to get some medical help. Um, I don't know a whole lot about Virginia Mason. I see a lot about the news, but I don't really know too much about it. Um, I actually don't know much about Virginia Mason. Um, I feel like I may have seen them a little bit in... In the media? I know the commercials, they tell me they're the baby hospital. I don't know, I mean, it's uh, aside from seeing their advertising as kind of the, the team, so to speak, hospital with uh, the Seattle Seahawks or the Sonics, that's kind of one of the first things that come to mind. Um, but other than that, I can't really distinguish them from you know, some of the other hospitals. I don't really know about Virginia Mason. Swedish, I usually associate with more kind of high class, more prestigious type of an institution. Um, more of like the, the rich folks of Seattle kind of more migrate towards that area. Swedish is probably the one I see and hear about most. Um, just know there's a lot of different um, hospitals in different areas of the city, so I feel like um, it's a big prevalence there. Swedish, I kind of feel, is more of a general sort of a place. Um, yeah, kind of if you just regular humdrum operations, appendicitis, whatever, it seemed to go to Swedish. Uh, with Swedish, you know, I, I think probably just babies. Uh, in addition to that, probably some of their cancer and other research centers, but uh, I haven't been born in Swedish. Uh, I've always been ingrained. That's the place where, uh, where you have a kid. Swedish, I know that they have a lot of branches around Puget Sound. I think that's very convenient for a lot of people. It's probably um, intense, um, fast-paced. Prior view, high stress, um, a lot of trauma. I think the ER would probably be busy all the time. It's more associated with that kind of um, ER aspect, I would assume. I want to imagine it's something like ER, like the television show, but uh, I'd imagine it's nothing quite that fast-paced. But, um, you know, it's probably a lot higher pressure being that the cases they get are probably more severe and serious. It's probably very, uh, I'm guessing, probably very frenetic and fast paced, um, you know, based on triage or whatever comes through there with the, uh, the trauma victims. Well, they have great structure, I think, uh, because they use UW Human Resources as their um, main human resource department, so they have really nice system in terms of HR. UW, more of a teaching institution. Uh, research, so probably a lot of scholarly um, 
environments and lectures and things like that. that they're probably really good about educating their uh, their staff about uh, up and coming treatments. I imagine a lot's probably focused on, on studies and, and research based on the grants uh, and money that they do receive. Uh, and it's probably a younger atmosphere just given that younger doctors are probably doing their residency there and such. And they have the really tight connection with Harborview, so I think that's a good thing. Um, again, I don't know too much about it, so I don't really know. Don't know much about it, really not, honestly, been sure where they're located. I have no idea. It'd probably be a lot like working in a maternity ward. Virginia Mason, um, you know, maybe based off the team approach, uh, it's more collaborative there, potentially. Um, again, tough for me to distinguish that one always. I'm not sure why. Swedish, I would think that you would have to have a lot of experience and be more of a well-known doctor to actually work in that situation. Swedish, again, it seems like it's probably the biggest hospital. I have no idea if it is, just because they have so many hospitals. So probably would assume a majority of the doctors in this area um, work there or have at some point or transferred to and from. It being so general, I think it would seem very dull. Um, not really exciting, not necessarily high pressure, not necessarily low pressure. I know my grandfather was there and the doctor seemed very overworked and the nursing staff seemed very overworked. They're very focused on, um, on helping others and the people and kind of making connections, um, whether again it's with expecting mothers or um, with some of the kind of cancer research and breakthroughs that they're doing um, on that end. More opportunities, maybe more local opportunities because there are a lot of branches around Puget Sound.